Sigurd. Eivor. Before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have... Uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly. But our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, we will grow together. Then I'm glad for you both. And for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. My love. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. Hamptonshire, the last Saxon stronghold. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Guthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Uber have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. I will go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather in the Thames just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this, our final victory. What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and veil. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Volker. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones, I have stirred the offal of beasts, and in the rising steam I saw the end of it all! Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master, your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka, but the yarns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies, and I will see it through. Go then. With great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. Strange to see Norse and Saxon banners flying. Eivor, you come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There's an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilled? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this fort is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come. I will take you to him. Who is good from meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king. 
And that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. Guthrum does not negotiate with Oathbreakers. Men whose words are only shadows of their thoughts. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to. A Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the King's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uber dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We'll burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Burn Wareham to the ground! Make it a Saxon pyre! And you will feel my ass in the Shut up! Shut Shut Spoken with war and witch. This is our England now. Let vengeance steer your swords. My blood needs fire after cooling in the sudden field. You'll burn in hell, traitorous scum. I will feast them. Their prayers go unanswered this day. We should find Soma. They'll not pursue us when they have fires to quell. Lose your nerve! 
This place is routed somehow. Good work. We leave now. There are forest ruins just east of here, along the road. <gasps> Stay alert. Good work. We leave now. There are forest ruins just east of here, along the road. Come on, men! Move! Oh, finish here. I'm walking in. Here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes, that is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there, and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know, they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ Mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uba lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them? We will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you are as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. As much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Old bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred and his heels. Revenge burns within me. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist. I took them too hard in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, Ivor. I've come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. There. This is the blockade. The hostages must be in these buildings. What is your plan? We can tread quietly so as not to alert the guards. I can raid this place in moments with my crew. I will follow your lead. I should not be seen in this area.
I told you, Gosselin, you have leave us here to rot. Right. Enough skulking! Guthrum, some of your men. We will not be feasting in Odin's Hall tonight, boys. Enough skulking! These actions do not deserve compassion. I will wash my blade in their blood. Show me. Are you Guthrum's men? Aye. Free us and we will fight by your side. My thanks. Norns with you well. Every Saxon who spat at me will die. You will have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here to a camp near Tippenham. Thank you, Eivor. a great deed here. Their families will raise a cup to you. I need no thanks, Guthrum. I'll speak more when we are safely away. We're safe here. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery, your leadership, Eivor. You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives, a changed man. But he is free of full case torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done, everything we have sacrificed to win this land. Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth and blood seeping from seedlings, poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. And so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England.
I never thought it possible, Eivor. That you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. I will greet my allies first. Good. Come find us again when you are ready. Do you believe the Saxon Lord? Is Uba really dead? I. A few survivors found their way to us. Gidrich. After Rochester, I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. It would sooner better hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love. Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. Dear love, you've come again at my call. I have, but this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stowe, I released you from your debt, and yet... You came. London is quiet enough, and Stow here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Could not let you down, Eivor. That's not what an honorable man does. So here I am, despite my reservations. And you, Broder. I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother. Sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. Neil. You, Eva, a lot, my love. I know. There you are, Aiden. Lufina, pure. It warms my heart to see you well. Well as ever. Better since we skinned those order rats. I hunted down more in Winchester on Alfred's behalf. Now we come to take his kingdom. How quickly a coin can flip when tossed from hand to hand. Only a fool is a betting man. Aye, your. Alfred thought to use me, but he will find differently at Chippenham. I know, I know. This last of rain. Finir, stand tall. A light heart lifts all those around them. Ah, Eivor! Who would not be joyous, reaving at your side? And how do you feel about bringing sorrow to the Saxons on their holy day? It darkens my mood. I have learned some of the Christ Lord's teachings. He preaches peace where our gods delight in battle. Let their delights be ours, then. We have many battles to wage before the end. And I will be beside you for them all. My axe ready, and my heart stout. Tefter, it is good to see you. I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict, and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that guard-whipped boy. That is good to see. I was always him, but my faith was like a veil. I am glad you helped me lift it. And now another education. You'll see how we Norse bats fight. I am all a quiver with anticipation. This last of rain. I hope the dead will be clean. Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Vili, leave these poor boys alone. Their ears are too delicate for the filth you pour in. Boys is right. This streak of cat piss is barely off his mother's tit, and the Essex boy has hands like a milkmaid. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother and my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows I have not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends, and we'll feast together in victory.
you soft-cheeked Anglo boy. This last of Have you brought the dead mother with you? My mother I is worth ten of last your vestiges of Ragnar's not. legacy. Eivor, you made it unscathed. Let us speak of our plan to take Chippenham. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the Thanes, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take the Olaf and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda, take Edkin Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together, we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards. Get to the village and wait for my signal. If they see me, this will get messy. Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house! Go, Zulin. my torch did you think my king would turn his back on you Eivor when your knife is smeared with the blood of Wera stand aside Goodwin I come for Alfred Alfred is long gone and this good Christian feast a cup of honey wine to trap some wasps where is he calling his allies to his side all those who wish to see Wessex under one God cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder, do your worst. <laughs> I will never bow to Alfred!
You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No. I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That I cannot allow. <laughs> I need you fighting with the rest! These men will not surrender! Dead. And one little cockslog barricaded himself behind that door there! I will find a way in! What? Oh, pay for your sins! Spread out! Help this! <laughs> Time for weep wailing. I. I cannot. And there is a blackness closing in around my eyes. Hunwald, uh. <coughs> uh. <coughs> listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottleston. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. As winter comes so soon, 
You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Eivor. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast. Sob bright words of welcome and... Until you know man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest. to open the gates from the inside. Hurry! These waves of reinforcements are hell-sent! Make sure the garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others.
That's it! They're fleeing! The last of the Saxons are fleeing! The battle is won! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Good from y'all. We are not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled. His paths is struck down. Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here. Good from hear me. Soma is. She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the endless feast, and she is the better for it. I must speak to those still living. It is done, Brodier. You fought well. I saw him, Havor. In my darkest moment, Grothir stood beside me, and all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye, and there you'll find me, Havor, in amongst the blood and death. Grothir at my shoulder, until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. You're not injured, Tefta. Bruises, that is all. I've taken the Lord into my heart, and he watched over my sorry bounds. Those who fell sit beside him now. And what of my heathen friends? I used to believe in damnation for all who turned from his light. But there is a wondrous communion in friendship honored. Even though your godson preaches peace. And we shall do that, Christians and pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your Christ would smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. Uh -huh. Erke, you wear a furrowed brow. Stowe is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he is tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Erke. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. My thanks, Stowe. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin-soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks he'll live forever. Your first battle, Illerich. You fought well and with honor. Is this the glory you deign seek? You can keep it. I saw Hunwald die.
the light dim in his eyes. That could have been me. You will never be the same. But you will be stronger for it. I have wasted so much time in pouting like a child. No more, Eivor. No more. Lufina. Gods, I... I did not know. Is, is he... Hush. What good can words do, Havor? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers, I give thanks. No more. Your fingers in my hair. No more your arms around my waist. The days will be called hereafter. All color dimmed. Goodbye, my only. My heart ends with you. What is left will go on. My heart is heavy. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There's nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours. But it came at a great cost. So my Yalskon who stood at Guthrum's right hand. She will live on in our memories, from now to the end of days. And to your warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Humboldt, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. 
I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. Eivor? Swanborough, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own... No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely, and turned the tide to secure victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero, and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor solve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn, and know that we are here for you, always, should you need us. Shire has fallen, and with it the Kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great, maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then, you have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. you be a good job. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together.
I am honored to stand before you, Gunner, Bridget, on this bountiful day, to celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wet. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the birthday of future and heed, and the sword tower of hope and premonition. On the mount of scrying a foresight, para toivi a sweeping adventure meeting to. Tiur enaid van de marash, a dean as strong a burantiki, a kvel as ifias, but kalon and head van de reti. Such poetry, oh dear, you make me cry, my love. Let us head van even gile, and beyond. I offer you this ring, and take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I whisk of a Valkalon, adoration of feed and myth. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. <laughs> With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. Andri, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Randvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. Something only he can find. 
All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that? I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Alvis, I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. You've been among us for quite some time, Redda. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer, always searching. Never finding. Maybe one day. Bridget, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear Javier. I couldn't be more happy to Boma. Hoping I'll be wash in the case me sure that years. Yes, of course. I, uh... As I say, it is wonderful to have you. Gunner, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. <laughs> How are the marriage customs in your country, Itham? Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. Volka, I want to thank you for all you've done for me. My visions have lessened of late, and I... Well, I find it hard to explain how different I feel. Grounded. Unified. At peace. That is good to hear, Eivor. Very good to hear. It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. Thank you.